Christmas, Kings Academy, and all those watching in West Palm Beach. I'm Ryan Kavanaugh. And I'm Christian Prosha, and you're watching Kings TV. Now, I know these past couple weeks have been really busy, but we're almost to Christmas break, so hang in there. We've all been working so hard, so it's going to be nice to get a refreshing break. Yeah, and when we come back from Christmas break, we have homecoming the week of January 11th to the 15th. So make sure while you're celebrating the holidays to start thinking of your dressed down theme ideas. Now, let's go check in with Grace and Trevor as they bring us some holiday fun with some Christmas trivia. Hi, I'm Grace Matisich, and to get in the Christmas spirit, we're going to go around to selected teachers and see if they know their Christmas trivia. How many reindeers does Santa Claus have? Twelve. <laughs> Am I right? It's nine. Nine! <laughs> okay, so what are Santa's helpers called? Elves! What beverage is often left out for Santa? Milk. What brought Frosty the Snowman back to life? The hat. <laughs> <laughs> it is an old silk hat. Yeah. How do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Feliz Navidad! Da, 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 da. Why does the Grinch hate Christmas? Because he was all green inside. What is the number one Christmas song according to the Guinness Book of World Records? Um, White Christmas. What does Bethlehem translate to in the original Hebrew text? I should know this. Um, God is... No. The Lord, no. Lord is anointed. I don't know. <laughs> what does Bethlehem translate to in the original Hebrew text? You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> what does Bethlehem translate to in the original Hebrew text? House of bread. House of meat. No, that's wrong. It's, it's Beit Lechem. It means house of bread. Just give me more people to mentally dominate. I'll do it all day. <laughs> Santa Claus is also known as Saint Nicholas. Name all the reindeers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Blitzen. <laughs> right? That's all I got. <laughs> Name all the reindeers. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Name all the reindeers. Okay. Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen, um, Dasher, Prancer, Dancer. I'm missing one. I only have seven. <laughs> Rudolph? Rudolph? <laughs> Name all the reindeers. Oh boy. All right, we have on Comet, on Cupid, on. Uh, oh, I'm not doing well, am I? Uh, something about Blitzen, uh, Dasher, Dancer, uh, Rudolph. Help me out, guys. How many are there? Prancer, dancer, vixen, vixen. How many are there? Are there There's nine. nine yeah. oh! What are the traditional Christmas colors? Green and red. What is what is Santa Claus famous for saying? Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Or yes. What is the most popular Christmas movie? Oh, uh, Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. <laughs> What form of transportation does Santa use to deliver presents across the world? Last I heard he drives a Tesla. <laughs> Where does Santa Claus live? The North Pole. What color is the Grinch? Green. Who is the lead reindeer? It would be Rudolph. Where was baby Jesus born? Bethlehem. This has been Grace Matisich reporting for Kings TV. Thanks Trevor and Grace. I'm really looking forward to this holiday season. Yeah, and I think I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait for the new year. I know, right? 2020 has been such a crazy year. So here's Stent and Bijan to give us some yearly reflections. Hey, hey what's up, what up Hey. Hey. Mm. Yeah. COVID fist bump. Hey. How you doing, Bijan? Yeah, I'm doing good. Can you believe it's finally the holiday? Yeah, I'm glad this year is almost over. It's the biggest thing this year was COVID. Yeah, I know. But how about quarantine? No. Quarantine was awful. I literally hated not going out. Yeah, I know. I gotta admit that I, I did enjoy spending more time with my family. Wait, hold on. Did you just say a good thing about 2020? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We'll never know. Mm. But uh, honestly, I am super happy to see you. It's uh, It's been a great laugh seeing your haircut and all after COVID. Oh, I've been actually working on this for a long time. Really? Because I, I can't tell. Oh. It's horrible. <laughs> see, that's what I miss. I miss seeing you. I miss seeing all my friends. And we did have sports, too. Not having fans, though. Yeah, but I mean, at least we got to play. We could have just had nothing. Yeah, I know. A lot of teams in this country didn't have sports. And you're a pretty big baller, aren't you? Well, I, 
you know, humble. So, yeah. And football, you guys had a great season this year. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy because of COVID, but uh, we definitely had a lot of fun playing. And other sports had a great season too, like volleyball, an undefeated regular season. That's crazy. I mean, they were they were really, really good. And how about swimming? I heard they went to states. Got even the boys got runner up. That's crazy. Even our bowling team went to states. Oh, that was such a magical season by them. Yeah, very very magic, like Tinkerbell, almost. Exactly like. Tinkerbell. And Peter Pan. Yeah. Overall, our fall our fall sports did an amazing job. Beautiful. And you were complaining about not having fans. Yeah, I know. The show must go on. Speaking of the show must go on, theater. I saw one of their plays, it's been really good. Me too, they've been doing a fantastic job with plays this year. I would go watch 10 other ones. Exactly. Maybe you were right about 2020 not being such a bad year. Mm. You know what 2020 has taught us? What have they taught us? Don't give up, even if everything is thrown against you. So what you're saying is we have to roll with the punches. Yeah, and don't do what Nate Robinson did. That was tough. Wow, who gave them permission to write a script again? Yeah, I don't know, man. We're still rolling. Oh, thanks, Bijan and Stanton. Well, we're almost done wrapping up our final episode of 2020, so we would like to give a big thanks to all of our crew. Yeah, and it happens to be some of our seniors last season, so a special thanks to Stanton Quay, Ryan Corrigan, and Garrett Weisberg. Anyways, that's all we have for you in our final episode of 2020. Have a great final week and a very Merry Christmas.